place 100 years in the future in a different solar system on a different planet that's similar to Earth. And the three main characters end up getting caught in the middle of a coup d'etat. Uh, one of them escapes on her battle cruiser, and before she can go into a hyperspace jump, her ship gets rammed. So she gets knocked off course and ends up crash landing on Earth, where she's captured and taken to Area 51. We're talking to two young adults who are, who are taking the book, Business by Storm. First of all, tell them how old you were when you wrote this book. We were both 14 when we started. Yeah, 14 when we started, yep. That's amazing because when I was 14, I was coloring books. I wasn't writing books. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing. So tell us about it because it sounds exciting. Their technology is based entirely around steam power. I love steam. I love everything about steam. It's very unpredictable. It almost makes the machine that is powered by it seem alive, like a creature almost. The Dauntless Chronicles is a number one bestseller and number one hot new release on Amazon. And they join us to speak about their book. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hello. Good to see you guys. We love the energy, especially bright and early on this Wednesday. What is it about sci-fi that really appeals to you both? Just the, the prospect of the unknown. You see, a lot of people, they're cautious, they're afraid of the unknown, but we want to explore it. We want to go out there and see what we can do with that unknown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we no, love no. it. Now tell us, we know that this has a lot of planets and ships and races and a bunch of different things that are going on. Where do you even start when you're trying to build that up for a reader to be able to follow? Have the ending first because so you know what you want to lead up to is because like sometimes when you start from the beginning, you get going and then you're just like, wait, where, where do, do I go, go from here? here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when you have the ending written down first, you know where you want to go. You know what needs to happen in order to get there. And sometimes what also happens, which is fun, is you develop other things along the way that you didn't think were originally going to be in there. Exactly. It seems that the importance of family and friendships and loyalty are running themes in the Dauntless Chronicles. This, this awful place and they have to stick together and help each other out in order to get out of there and get back home to their family. So yes, loyalty and, and friendship and trust is really big in the Dauntless Chronicles because it's great to see that in a person. Everyone likes someone that they can trust. I understand that there's like, there's gods, there's goddesses. Oh, yeah. there's... You have the queen of the gods, you know, she's like the main figure. And then she was the first being in the universe. So she created the stars and the planets. And then her children would give the planets ocean and land, which then ended up creating life on the planets. Uh, well, in the back of the book, there is a QR code. And you can get the book, you can scan the QR code. Boom, you're on Discord. Welcome to the community. We also have like a few questions about the book. You don't understand some of the lore. We have awesome people that'll help you understand it. We have a channel dedicated to lore, like little extra pieces that weren't in the book. Yeah, you can go to the website, www.dauntlesschronicles.com. The QR code is on there, as well as the summary of the book. And also, if you want to shoot us any questions, go ahead. Give us questions. We are Ask away. <laughs> Incredibly talented. And we're so delighted that you found some time to talk to us. Of course. Thank you for having us. Always. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>